Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn about creating an alignment with the Alignment Layout Tools toolbar in Civil 3D. Let's get started. In this exercise, you'll use the Alignment Layout Tools to draw an alignment that has curves. So first of all, go ahead and open up your Align-1 drawing in your Tutorials folder. Now this drawing contains a surface that has several circles that are labeled A to D. Now ensure that your O-snap is on by clicking this button right here. Go ahead and go to your Home tab and to your Create Design panel. Click the Alignment drop-down, then click Alignment Creation Tools. We'll get the Create Alignment Layout dialog box Let's start by naming our alignment. Type in First Street. Now under the General tab, select the following settings. For Site, we're going to keep it at None. For Alignment Style, we're going to leave it at Layout. The current alignment layer is correct. And the alignment label set is correct. Now note that setting the site to none prevents the alignment from interacting with other objects in the drawing. The none selection is helpful when you don't want parcels to be created when either intersecting alignments form closed regions or the alignment crosses an existing parcel. Go ahead and click the Design Criteria tab. The starting design speed value specifies the default design speed at the alignment starting station. Design speeds can be later specified on other stations along the alignment. If no other design speeds are specified, the starting speed is applied to the entire alignment. We're going to accept the default starting design speed value for this exercise. Now the other options on this tab are used only if you want to ensure the alignment design meets specified design criteria. Do not apply design criteria to the alignment in this exercise. You'll learn how to use the design criteria feature in another exercise. Go ahead and click OK. Now the Alignment Layout Tools toolbar is displayed. It includes the controls required to create and edit alignments. In the Alignment Layout Tools toolbar, go ahead and click this drop down right here. Select Curve and Spiral Settings. Now in the Curve and Spiral Settings dialog box, you can specify the type of curb to be automatically placed at every point of intersection between tangents. Now in the Curve and Spiral Settings dialog box, specify the following parameters. We'll leave the type at its default. The Spiral In checkbox, we're going to leave that cleared. Curve, we're going to leave it at Selected. But for the default radius, let's change that to 350. And we're going to leave the Spiral Out checkbox cleared. Click OK. Now under your Layout Tools, go ahead and click that drop down again. Select Tangent to Tangent with Curves. Snap to the center of Circle A. Go ahead and stretch the line out to B, then continue until you get to D. And go ahead and right click to end the command. Go ahead and pan and zoom to review the style. You can see all of the stations are on their own layer. We can see our tangency. And it looks very, very nice. Now as you're examining your alignment, note the geometry points for the start and the end of each line, spiral, and curve. So that's how you go about creating an alignment with the Alignment Layouts Tools toolbar in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, 
My name is Charles Ellison. Take care.